Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a software named as WBox VMS Pro 1 for PC. So please keep watching till end and please like, share and subscribe our channel. So in this video, we are not going we are going to demonstrate you that how you configure WBOX VMS Pro 1 for PC and how you install it and how you configure it means you how you add the device and access the live view of the camera and we will also tell you that what is WB, WBOX VMS Pro 1 for PC so basically WBOX VMS Pro 1 for PC a software which assists the CCTV camera user in accessing their security surveillance camera on their Windows and Mac PC. In this video, we, we will also show you that how you download the CMS. We also provide the detail about the CMS to connect and control the CCTV camera to gain live streaming access on the operating system without any difficulty. So in this video, this video is completely about how you completely a learning process in detail about the software this the application is developed by the CDU technologies incorporation to assist in linking the CCTV cameras of their PC or a smartphone without encountering any difficulty the installation procedure is also described in detail in this video the application is, de is developed by Residio Technologies Incorporation for Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS user to access the live streaming from the CCTV camera without any error or any dif technical difficulty. So let's start the video practical part. You just open your Google Chrome browser or you just Google it. WBOX Pro 1 for PC. When you click on this we, you should you find that a website top you, you should find a website at the top of the Google results just click on this when you click on this here you found a download link for PC just click on this just click on the download and after that click on download anyway let the download is finish once it is finished we will tell you that how we installed this particular file and after that how you configure so that your camera is live okay so keep watching once again please like and share our video and subscribe our channel Now the download is finished. After that, you should what should what you should do that click on the three dot button. After that, click on the download. Just click on the download. Here is our download downloaded file. Just click on show in folder. When you click on show in folder, just right click on the particular file, and after that, click to extract. Let the file to be extracted. Here you find our, our extracted file, just click on this. After that you find our application file or .exe file or a solar file. Just right click on the solar file and click on run as administrator. Now 
now click on yes now here you find that two option setup and custom click on i agree now then click on setup please wait for a few minute now you get the successful installation notification or successful installation message after that just click on launch once the installation is complete just double click on the vms box cms client shortcut now this is the interface of the software so then the first thing you should do is that you should find the option uh, devices my uh, in my laptop there is some resolution issue so that's why the all the things not come on this single screen so just click on the devices once you click on the devices and here you found an auto search option and plus add device so if your uh, laptop and your device means ip camera and nvr is connected on is connected to the same network means to the same router so you you should click on the auto search otherwise you should search on this option okay plus add device just click on this when you click on this you put any name here and here you find that dvr is put to all the options so you just click on nvr and private cut over here you find the ip or url so in my case i use my ip port number remain same please note that this is the username of the device means nvr and here i should enter my password and group is default intelligent server is not configure so just leave remain and media distribution server you should auto and after that click on save and new Okay now it is saved now go to your live view option again here is the live option just click on the live view and here you found test device and right now it is not connected just right click and just double click on this particular test device channel 01 just double let's click on main stream now it is shown on your screen thanks for watching have, have a nice day